Hello everyone! Just a few hours ago, Boom has released the full version of episode 72 that he hinted to my fellow creator called Moby a few days ago at this point. And although this full episode contained only one secret scene instead of three that Boom added the last time, it is still really interesting and worthy of talking about today. So get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end because it's going to be really captivating. Let's go. So the scenes and events of the first and second parts of the episode stayed to be relatively untouched, as I didn't notice any major changes in any of them. The most fun part starts at the very end of this full version, so let's talk about it right away. But before we proceed any further, don't forget to give this video a like because I appreciate it a lot and subscribe to my channel, as I really want to achieve my goal in having 500,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Okay, if you subscribe now, let's move on. And this secret scene begins with POV Mecha Cameraman who's watching the backgrounds of the location after Titan Cameraman says his already iconic for plunger phrase, detaches the old acid barrel hand from the slot and changes it with his new Astro toy. And after that, we can see two of our old familiars. This TV man dressed in the white scientific overall had already appeared in episode 66 inside of the TV man's laboratory. And the big TV man next to him is our buddy who underwent some real injuries and got worn out a little bit in the third part of episode 70. But aside from the TV man scientist who we saw only once before that secret scene, our big TV boy appeared multiple times already and proved his worth and bravery to us. So I'm always glad to see him on the screen. So what these two TV men are looking at exactly is the second claw that got ripped off from Astro Toilet's body while the first one has already been taken in Titan Cameraman's possession. And by the way, if you'll look closely enough, you'll see one frame of the acid barrel hand that Titan Cameraman dropped laying right behind this Astro Toilet's claw. But of course this hand is not much of an interest to these TV men, contrary to the Astro Claw. Sometimes Boom changes Titan TV Man's phrases in the full versions or compilation versions of his episodes, but this time I've heard no changes and he still said, I wait message, and this hole will die quick, as it was in the original episode. And why I remembered about him immediately is that because at the beginning of the secret ending scene, we see two more TV men that have the interesting following dialogue. The TV man in a white overall firstly says, get this bitch to the lab. To which the big TV man answers with, um, quite dubious phrase which I managed to decipher differently twice. It's possible that the big TV man says, this shit is letting our titans talk. Which I'll explain a little bit later in detail. While another variant is fitting Boom's sassy style much more so, it's also possible that he says, this shit is longer than our titans cock. And what do you guys think about all this indecency? I personally found it to be pretty hilarious. But please write in the comments below what y'all have personally heard. In any case, despite all of their yapping, they still managed to teleport this giant claw back to their base, and I have a few really interesting thoughts on what they can found out while examining it in their laboratory. But before I'm going to drop into Sea of Conclusions, let's watch this secret scene to the end first, because believe me, guys, this is not the last crazy secret contained in it that I'm about to show you today. So after watching this sassy dialogue, the POV Mecha cameraman turns around and walks past this police car, and it's already a tradition to me at this point to always gawk inside to see whether there's some shadowy figure sitting in its seat or not. And no one can be found there this time, but interestingly enough, when the POV walks through these flames, we can see interruptions on his camera screen and it's possible that they occurred due to the flames he passes by that affect his camera a little bit with the heat. But on the other hand, we usually saw these kinds of interruptions when the secret agent himself could have appeared somewhere nearby. But where are the transmission error types of phrases in such a case, you can ask me? Well, as we keep watching this secret scene, we can find more details to answer this question. So right at this moment, when the POV walks into the flames, we can see how the tiny figure of some mysterious cameraman appears with bright glow in the place where his head camera is supposed to be. And it's quite far away, so it wasn't possible for me to discern any kinds of distinctive features in his body or even the color of his suit. Although it vaguely seems to me that the color of his suit is lighter than the color of this coat, but I'll talk about the possible nature of this intriguing cameraman a little bit later. So watch this video to the end, not to miss the most important part. And after a second of being on the screen, this guy literally vanishes into the thin air. And right in this moment, the POV stops seeing any sort of intermissions on his screen. 
Well, of course, the POV didn't pay any visible attention to the mysterious figure appearing from above because his mind was in some other place. And all his thoughts were obviously dedicated to severely injured camera strider that is still alive, though. And it really melts my heart because this big, brave boy behaved like a true savage in the first half of episode 72, and he really made me proud as if I was the one who actually engineered him. Despite the very serious amount of damage that he received from G-Man, this big blue boy still has a spark in his eyes, metaphorically speaking, and the POV shows him a thumbs up implying that Camera Strider did a wonderful job and showed his best colors in this battle. I really hope that this scene is a sign that we'll definitely see the furthermore upgraded Camera Strider again in the future episodes. And I don't know, maybe he'll even get accompanied by an improved Speaker Strider next time? Okay. And now, as the secret scene itself is finished, it's time to talk about two very important details that we have been showed today. And the first thing I'd want to discuss with you guys is the claw of Astro Toilet that got brought to the laboratory of TV Men. And do you remember what I said about one of the fairer variants of the big TV Man's phrase that sounded like, This shit is letting our Titans talk? In my previous video, lots of you guys wrote in the comments that it's possible that Titan Cameraman started speaking after he attached the Astro Claw to his arm slot which I found to be pretty interesting. It's true that we haven't heard Titan Cameraman saying a single word before, contrary to two other brothers of his, so it may indeed be the case. So is it possible that the examination of Astro Claw in TV Men's laboratory opens a whole new spectrum of abilities for different races of the Alliance, and for Cameramen specifically, and could it happen so in the next episode that after this Claw will be researched in the TV Men's lab, then the knowledge of how to handle it properly and what kind of purple glow affected it by G-Man will be revealed? And if you watched my previous video, then you know that I support an idea that Titan Cameraman can be in a great danger by episode 73, due to the claw that he attached to his arm. And if you want to know more details about it, then be sure to watch that video right after you finish this one. So what if he may survive after the claw gets examined in TV Men's lab, because he could get the information he needs about his new dangerous weapon from his allies? We'll see how it goes. And the second thing I want to discuss now is, of course, the possible nature of the mysterious cameraman that we saw disappearing in the air. And it's the most interesting part of the video. And by the way, I'm pretty sure it's the same cameraman, the vague silhouette of which we also saw in this frame. Now, I want to give you my own opinion on why we haven't seen transmission error and record error. It may be due to the fact that this cameraman appeared pretty far away from the POV, so, for example, in the full version of episode 67, the POV hadn't received any signs about the secret agent and lucky cameraman presence, as well as they stood pretty far away from him, too. But I'm still quite sure that this mysterious cameraman was definitely connected to the secret agent, because he used his invisibility mode twice, so it might be either one of the green-suited brothers, lucky cameraman, or maybe somebody else to catch us by surprise. For example, we haven't heard of Simp Cameraman for a really long time at this point. So could it be him after all? The color of the coat is definitely dark, but it's hard to say anything else about the details of this cameraman's appearance, and it was surely intentional. So I still have lots of suspicions on who this guy might actually be, and what are your thoughts on that topic, my friends? And that was all for today? Write in the comments below about how excited you are to see the next episode. And be sure to subscribe to my channel not to miss my new videos, and also to my Discord where you can contact me directly and get lots of info for my subscribers only. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!